Hello. What's up, fish tank people? How about a little monster bonus tonight? You guys doing all right? Cool. I don't know if this is streaming yet, but I figured it out earlier today, and I'm going to try it again right now. So here we go. I can see my screen, which is a good thing. And uh, I'm going to talk about monster fish and get this party started because I want to learn how to do this. And I want to do it right. So this is what I'm doing. What's going on? Oh, yeah. What's going on, everybody? You having fun? So here's the deal. I'm trying to bring you guys a little monster bonus. I had a fun time making that monster video. Everybody seemed to enjoy the edits. I appreciate the positive feedback. And because we got some positive feedback, we're going to keep the positive vibes going. We're going to keep it at a low level, though. Got to keep it a low level. I got not one, but two kids upstairs sleeping. So we're going to keep it calm. We're going to keep it quiet. But uh, I hope everybody is having a good night tonight. And uh, I'm super jacked about it. So we're going to get rolling with the monster fish. Now, I'm just being quiet. Uh, just being quiet because i got to make sure that my young children remain asleep. So I want to talk about monster fish tonight and just a little bonus monster action for you all. So let me get this going here. What's going on? i got to get control of my PowerPoint and bring that sucker right here. There we go. Everybody see the PowerPoint okay? Cool. Everybody's got the PowerPoint all right? All right. Uh, Christy, you're on here. My friends are on here. Everyone can see the PowerPoint okay and the audio is okay before I begin. I, I am doing this as a secondary test because I did it good earlier today. I want to make sure I've got it down. So I'm just like practicing. Juan says yes. Yes. No. Well, if you got a no, I don't know. Looks great. Nisi says looks great. Does the audio okay? There's no echo? Sounds great. Nisi, I'm rolling with you, sister. All right. So let's do this. Um, cool. Bonus live stream. Here is the fun part. Let me start by saying this. Um, you should be able to see the PowerPoint. It's on my screen. So, cool. Audio's looking good. Video's good. Christy, can you see the PowerPoint? Can everybody see the PowerPoint here? Cool. That's what's on your screen, so it's fine. Cool. Good sound. Offline. All right, well, let's roll. So check it out. The I want to do a monster bonus here because... Can anybody see the PowerPoint? PowerPoint slideshow? Come on now. Process. Yep. Buffering. Well, I don't know. Can't see. Can't see. Oh my god. There's always technical issues. This is why we work them out. Work it out. Yes. Yes. You guys can see it. PowerPoint. Christy can see it. Alright, well you guys need to fix something then because I got it going on. So check it out. It's in the background, folks. I'll make me smaller. There. It's right there. Is that it? That's it. Okay, so let's roll. Since you all have my attention. So what we're going to do is this. I'm going to roll here. And I got the PowerPoint here. So this starts in Peru. Can everybody see the Peru? It's good. Cool. What's going on? Alright. So this is the me in the jungle of Peru. This is the actually on the Nanai River, not the Napo River, where the monster fish take place. This was taken in 2012. And um, this is me in a, this is actually where Epistogramma bitaniata come from. So this is a really ridiculous uh, small segment of the Nanai River. Now what's cool about the Nanai River is that it has a lower pH, which is not good for me in keeping fish, but is really good for uh, Epistos, um, Quarries, and Angels. So there's a lot more of those fish that are uh, a part of this, but this is actually taken the, the, they dry up, what happens is that the river, you have to time your time right in the jungle. So you have to time it like there's only a couple weeks a year where you can really get low water levels because if the water levels are too high, what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to get the fish because there's going to be too much water everywhere. So you get lower water levels, you get low water levels, and then you're able to pull the fish out. And that's what I'm doing here. So that's what's going on. So that's me in Peru. Okay. This is what it looks like every morning when you wake up. I mean, straight up, like this is what it looks like in Peru. So, um, I mean, it, the, the sky is bluer, the grass is greener, the water is dark, and that's fine. But um, just every morning, totally beautiful, and just just totally loving it. Uh, I'd wake up to this. This is the uh, boat. I had a night where I actually slept, and uh, there was a hole in my mosquito net, so I couldn't get uh, I couldn't get the 
mosquito net. I gotta move myself here. There was a hole in the mosquito net, and so I couldn't get myself uh, put, like I couldn't get the mosquitoes away from me. So I actually came up here and I sat on this little spot right here, and I looked up at the stars and I saw the Southern Cross, and it was just totally amazing. So really an epic epic time i recommend anybody that can go do this i mean yeah you're roughing it for a little bit but it's amazing so here we go i want to give some scale to the amazon i think people misdo the amazon um the amazon river i've done two things here one this is a photograph of why can i move me here all right, this is a this is two parts here. This is no buffer, no mic. Cool. Um, this is a map of the United States. So what I did was I took a map of North America and South America, and I cut out the United States because I want people to understand. Um, don't put things in the camera. Got it. Thanks, James. Um, I wanted people to understand that the size of the Amazon River Basin. So this this basin right here is actually um, very very large and would cover the entire United States. So you think about like the Ohio River, or Mississippi River, or pick your big river, right? Like this, the Amazon Basin, like the delta of it, if you will, is as big as the entire United States. Like that's to scale. Like I cut that and put that on there. So I really hope people dig that comparison. Now, what I've seen of the Amazon is this tiny, tiny, tiny little dot right there. Tiniest of tiniest little dots. So hardly anything but um, I want you guys to see that because it's really um, an amazing amazing thing and it's just a tiny little spot so when you have this variation in species you understand that all these species come from all these different tributaries and just all this like really really tiny stuff Can you guys see my mouse like every single one of these could have its own variety of tetra right so like when you see um, different stuff like it's like they come from down here and then these ones come from up here and they're entirely different because they're so segmented so if you have if you take away one thing from this check this out this is the Amazon basin and it is hardcore and I mean that's where the variety of your species are coming from so we'll move on from that but uh, I really want people to see that all right so then we go from that this is where I was. Now I was in the Loreto province of Peru and I actually took a boat and we went all the way around here. So we went all the way around this little spot right here. Zoop. And we took a boat all the way around. It's pretty crazy. And this took, to get there we were going against the current and this took, this path right here took like three days. And we ended up in Mazan, and then we actually went above it, okay? So, we ended up up here, and uh, we were catching quarry cats up here like crazy. But it's time to talk about some monster fish. I'm trying to do some trips again, people are asking. One of the things that I remember as a kid, you guys remember Street Fighter? This is Street Fighter, this is Blanca's stage in Street Fighter 2. And, uh, and, and he, his stage had an Ari Pima in the back. And this is an Ari Pima Gigas right here. This is what they call a Paiche. I talked about it here. This is one of these fish that I really, 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 really wanted to see. And this is uh, why. I mean, I, I saw them as a kid. This is these are hunters. I, I didn't actually see these people. These are photos I took, but or I used. But you can see the size of these things. Now, if you're paid by how you bring the biggest fish you want to get the you want to bring in the biggest fish possible to your uh like to your home right like if you're gonna fish you might as well catch the biggest possible fish so these people went out and would catch Ari Pima because Ari Pima are the biggest fish they can get they can get the most meat so it's the most work but it's ultimately the most reward just like I don't know settlers back in the day killing buffalo so I wanted to see these fish I've always had a thing for them um and so what I did was I actually started asking around and I talked to a dude and I was shooting the breeze with this dude and his name was Saro. This dude actually drew me a map of where the um, Ari Pima could be had. He was like, if you have a boat, go here. This is how you could do it. And it was totally crazy to me. So I, I took this map or whatever. Uh, I didn't do it. I didn't go. I didn't have a boat or whatever. But he was cool enough to like just straight up, here's a map, dude. Check this out. Like, go check out these. So... 
Um, I didn't go with that because I have Devin Graham. All right, let me bring it to you like this, folks. This dude right here is Devin Graham. Devin Graham, if you try to email him, he's not going to email you back quickly. If you try to call him, he's not going to answer, okay? Devin Graham is part tropical fish, okay? Because this guy right here, when the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago did an event, or excuse me, opened up an Amazon exhibit, they called Devin Graham. Does that make sense? Okay, so Devin Graham is the Grandmaster Ninja of the Amazon, and he was actually so good and so knowledgeable. He's actually not even into, he's into fish, but he's also into birds. Um, the guy, Albert, who had this boat before him, put him in charge and like lineaged this to him, if you will, or I don't know how you say that, like passed it down to him. So Devin Graham is the baddest dude. So I'm sitting there the first day, and I'm chilling out, hanging out with Devin, and we go to this bar or whatever, and um, Devin likes to drink. I don't, but whatever. And um, and I'm like, Devin, man, like, what do I, want? I really want to see a Paiche, man? And he's like, oh, we can do that. He's like, we'll got one up to the field station. Um, I didn't get that great of footage from the field station because it was like way out in the middle of this lake or whatever, but mega, mega cool. Um, and he, and if you ever want to go, it's Margarita Tours is the name of it. Now it's nothing, it's not a drinking tour, so don't get your get your heads out of the get your minds out of the gutter, whatever. But um, it was totally awesome. So this right here is Mike Barber. This is equally a uh, a badass here. This is Michael Barber. This man is a former CIA agent. Um, spoken many times with presidents and now runs Go Wild Peru. He speaks multiple language. Um, you, I'm keeping it's a secret, everybody. Um, I'm whispering because my kids are asleep, you freaks. So he is a, um, he, I mean, like, so you got Devin who's like born in the jungle, like never wore shoes the entire time, just the man. And then you got Mike Barber who, all right, look at, look closely at his shirt, guys. His, his shirt has a white collar. He went and bought a brand new white collared shirt to wear to collect fish in the jungle and he put it on and I wish I had the picture of him because he put it on and I took my picture with him and I was just like what's up dude because he had like it looked like he was getting ready to go out but we were like going out to go get fish the trick was that I didn't know he uh he actually had um noon this and they dry he was like they dry quick and they reflect the sun and they cover you all over and I was like you're the man he's so smart so like every time he goes fishing he goes and buys like used or not used but like clearance like white collared shirts and wears that shit out into the jungle like he's getting ready to go out so I thought that was funny um so these two guys are by the way this dude is in his in his just to give this guy some more more credit here I've seen his um I've seen his fish room it's amazing because he goes and collects fish um, we were in the jungle. We were nine miles deep in the jungle. Okay, nine miles deep. Um, he goes and nets seven hatchet fish in one netting. Okay, in one netting he went and just netted up seven hatchet fish all at once. It was insane, folks. It was insane. And there's the hatchet fish. Um, I've got an entire video about hatchet fish, but mega, mega cool. Like, the dude is the man. So. I went on the trip with these two guys. I mean, Mike and I immediately started talking high-level filtration and fish rooms and the whole thing. Um, I'll link up the videos some, at some point uh, of just type in Mike Barber, fish room of a legend, and his, his house will show up and it's worth looking up that. Um, but uh, we went there. So I've got like two grandmasters and I'm with them. Um, and I wanna show uh, what we did here. Okay, so this is a uh, this is this is a Tigrinus. Now I did the uh, I did the video on uh, today. I did the, uh, the clown knife. Thank you for all the love on that video, by the way. The clown knife. I did the uh, arowana, not the sort of clown knife. Arowana, peacock bass, arpamagigas, and um, red tail cat. This fish did not make the list, and so I'm actually doing this video tonight because of it, because I wanted to give it some credit. Um, I'm lumping two together here. The Tigrinus, there's a Tigrinus and there's a Tiger Shovel Nose. They're related, I'm not exactly sure which is what, but um, super awesome fish. So we go out and we pull up to a, uh, a spot, and Devin 
literally like literally pull this, this huge boat up right like where, where everyone knows we're coming with he takes this huge boat and he throws this this big like uh throw net out in the water first throw folks first throw he pulls up this fish it was so sick i was like what like just pulled this up uh -huh. so yeah it was awesome yeah so but yeah so we're rolling here and uh, I had that fish. Now I want to point this out. I have, I am, I am six foot. Um, I'm, I, I don't have, I do not have little hands, right? So, like, this is perspective. That is the head of a fish that I saw in the Baleen market. Okay. Uh, so, um, this is actually a head of this. Thank you, Ted. Um, this is actually a head of it to Grinnis right here. So this fish's head was this big. I saw this in a Baylin market, okay? This is a Baylin market down here in Peru. Now this is where you can see almost everything. So if you ever want to like, um, thank you everybody who's liking and sharing this by the way. Um, if you ever wanna see any animal that's ever been, almost any animal, um, tiger shrivels are coming, be patient. Um, that's ever been there. The Baylin market right here is actually um, a market that floods every year. It has horrible, I mean, there's no sewage, there's no drainage or nothing. It just flows into the river. I mean, it's na it's nasty. But um, this is where the magic is. Like, you could buy a monkey if you wanted. Um, you know, you could buy, you could buy a monkey. Um, you could buy... Uh, baby baby monkeys capuchin I mean you you name it you could pretty much buy it here the exception of pink dolphins and we're not going to talk about pink dolphins tonight because that's near to my soul and they deserve an entire powerpoint of their own but um, this is what you can buy look at this check this out this is an Tigrinus shovel nose right there look at the pattern on that fish folks how sick is that like, look at the pattern on that sucker insane and then here's an arowana and I forget what those are, some sort of a silver dollar, but there's arowanas right there, just for sale. Like, here you go, eat them, check them out. So, totally, totally, totally awesome stuff. Uh, now, listen, now, now I, wanna, I wanna take a, uh, a, uh, a step back here. I do not condone the capturing of monkeys. I do not condone the killing of innocent fish. These fish are, are, are not poached. These are these are these these provide money and food for people. So these are I'm totally fine with these fish here, um, being caught. Someone selling them in a market and someone else eating them. Like that is the coolest thing going, right? Um, as far as I'm concerned, and I just happen to like the fish and put them in a fish tank. But um, but like there it is illegal to catch some certain monkeys. Look, it's it's a third world country. Like they don't have. There's not regulated. Like, if you wanted to buy a monkey, you could buy a monkey. Now, you couldn't get it back into the U.S., but if you wanted to buy a monkey in Peru, you could certainly do it. Um, there are people that could do it. So, uh, I just, I want to point that out there. While that's pretty gross or whatever to some people, like, it is what it is. It's the jungle, and it's how these people survive. They are people of the jungle, okay? They don't, like, live by the jungle. They're from the jungle, okay? Uh, I want to show this here, too. FX4 popping off here. I know I should have taken some biology classes. So this is crazy. So these are some sort of a Pictus cat right here or whatever. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what they are. They have soft, they don't have spikes. They have real soft spikes or whatever. And then this, check this out. This is plecos right here. These are plecos that um, are in this bucket. Now check this out. <laughs> the uh, plecos, you wanna keep the um, egg sacs out. That's a delicacy. So like when you're selling, so if you've got like plecos, um, I'm not sure what catfish they are. So if anybody knows, feel free. Um, so if you've got uh, plecos or whatever, and you have like the egg sac, you cut and you show that. Like that's like that's that's part of the delicacy. You want to eat that. So I thought that was cool. Um, and I got just a couple more slides here on these on these monster fish I saw. Um, here's some Oscars, right here. Check that out. How crazy are those? So Oscars are just like a nothing, like whatever, Oscars. So um, I thought that was pretty cool. Oscars are really amazing. Dustin, you talk too loud? No, I'm sorry. So I've actually eaten Oscar fish before. My kids are asleep. My kid, um, so that's Oscar, and that's, I think, a, some sort of a Paku right there. And then there's Tigranus right there. So 
I just thought that was awesome. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, show you guys a little bit more action here. Um, I don't have much more, but I will uh, I will do more of these. I'm, I'm looking to get your feedback on these. But um, I went to a, uh, a Oscar is good, actually. Um, Oscar is really good. And I'm going to talk about this for a second. Um, so the Peruvians are really well known for their, their fish cooking. They're very good at cooking fish. Like you go to a Peruvian restaurant, you order ceviche. Um, so when you go there, like that's like that you eat fish. Like that's what they do. Like the locals there, they went and they went and actually like um, like when we were on the boat heading back to Peru, there was a guy driving by who just caught a bunch of fish, and they were going to get fish from him because his fish were uh, going to be cheaper than when they got to the city. So um, I thought that was always pretty cool. So whenever you you think Peruvian, like don't get steak, get that's Brazil. Get fish. Like, eat the fish. Okay, like ceviche, I ate it twice. Um, like, in one day, I ate it twice. So, um, yeah, they're type of, this is similar to a hatchet. But, um, so yeah, so always eat the fish in, in Peru. Get ceviche. Um, so, the uh, it was really, 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 really good, by the way. Oscar was. They actually, I have a video of me eating it. Or not eating it, but like the fish. I ended up eating a fish that I have on video. So, and then I do want to show this here. I've got, uh, I spent some time in a wholesaler here. And uh, this is actually a wholesaler called Stingray. And it's in uh, Peru. And this is a giant, uh, I don't know, I should ask Uncle Joey what this one is right here. But that's a giant uh, Stingray of some kind. Coincidentally, the name of the shop. And then um, this is... Uh, this the way they keep it right there they got the water running I'm taking notes in case I get my own setup so there we go um, but yeah that's it so that's uh, that's, that's just a, a final final shot of me in Peru totally love it um, I had so much fun there and uh, yeah totally uh, totally a great time and uh, I wish I could go back sooner than later so uh, thank you for everybody for checking this out. I'm going to do Q&A for just a minute. Um, I got family upstairs to hang out with, though. So it's Sunday. It's a special day. So, yeah, folks. So I'll do Q&A for a couple minutes. And um, But I, before before I get into Q&A, though, what do you all um, what do you all want to have me do non-fish like fish tank videos on? I've already got the small tank series coming. Uh, I'm going to do more on Peru. Is there any particular particular stuff about Peru you want to know? Hmm. I did bring back festivums when I was in Peru one time. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you, folks. Thanks for spending the time. You got it. Appreciate it, folks. Yeah. Can I get a like? Can I get a little, can I get a little digital verification? A little, little morale boost with a little bit of a like? So, you know. The Rio Negro. Good question. Black water. Okay, really, really hard to duplicate that, in my humble opinion. So, um, yeah, I don't know what that means, Bob. What do you want me to do? Alpacas? No. By the way, today is the last day of buy one, get one free on my growth juice. I'm keeping my clothes on. You guys saw that earlier. Um, I got buy one, get one free on uh, Lancelot, Anubis Lancelot, Anubis Gigantia, and um, Red Tiger Lotus, a bunch of stuff. So. Um, put a note in the comments that you saw it on here. That'll hook you up with free stuff. Goes out tomorrow. Buy one, get one free on Anubis Lancelot, Gigantia, and uh, Red Tiger Lotus. Got to feed the kids, right? Cool. You like the slideshow? Cool. So the slideshow, the reason I did this was uh, I wanted to get the slideshow because I've got a lot of content to share that's just kind of like, it's fish tank related, but it's not. So I wanted to try this out, and I had a good time doing it. So um, I've only been to Peru. Uh, I want to hit on the, the, somebody had a question about, uh, about, uh, Blackwater, and, uh, the Blackwater is really, really, really low pH, and that's typically hard to do, thank you, Nisi, you're awesome, I gotta get you on commission, um, it's typically really, really hard to do, because you have to have a real low pH, so I never recommend anybody, um, go after a really low pH, or high pH if you have low pH water, like, stick with stuff that's gonna work with your water, Right, so I have, um, it's both bulbs or red tiger lotus plants, whatever you want to do. I got them coming out of my ears. Buy one, get one free. Um, 
So I never want to see people like fight their water, right? So like I don't keep discus and I don't keep um, rummy nose because it's harder for me to get that lower pH. So I really want people to consider that when they're going to do a swing, when they're like, I want to keep all the angels. Well, they come out of like a 5.5, five, I think. So you really want to watch that versus like if you live in like Colorado Rockies, they have really, really hard water and they keep cichlids really good. Something to consider there. So, whoa, whoa, bong, bong. who else has questions here, folks? Let's do it. Anybody else? What you got? Let's go. Quietest I've ever seen you. I got kids. Let me tell you. Gave me a free one. Ah, Joyce, you got a free sword, sword sister. Thanks for your biz all the time, by the way. Cherry shrimp. Can cherry shrimp do work like a mono shrimp? No. No, not at all. Um, what's going on, everybody? Cool. I got a couple minutes left and I'm going to split. How do I keep my lights off to kill algae? Just turn them off, black out the tank for six days. Will the Browns win a game this season? Listen, guys, I got to tell you, the Browns actually, I just found this out, I think it's awesome. The Browns actually signed OJ Simpson to a two year, $14 million deal. Um, Sashi Brown said that he was worth taking a stab at. So I'm excited we're going to have OJ Simpson in the backfield. He's not really a first or second down runner, but he's good on that third chance. So. But I'm bump. When am I going to Peru next? Uh, super soon. I don't know. I, I like to go in January, but we'll see. Um, how to clean up after white spot after Corey's. We want to know. You like that? All right, folks. Well, I got to split. It's been fun hanging out with you all. I'm going to try to do a little more Sunday water. Sunday water. Sunday stuff. Um, can not report until October 1st? <laughs> That's funny, Bob. All right, so yeah, I will do these. Let me know what topics um, you want me to do. Let me read this real quick here. No fish, predatory in here. Happier with top water fish above them. I believe, James, that that's fact that bottom dwelling fish are happier with top water fish above them too. Always do softball, catch up, cool. Good night, everybody. All right, folks, I'm out. Tank on, everybody. Want to give you a little love. Make sure you hit the uh, notification button to get more of these. I'm out. No nipples this time. <laughs> Later, everybody. And